Next up is the author of Explore and Discover Your Purpose, Six Steps to Uncover Your Dream Career. Hello, Marlo Anderson. Hello. Explore and discover yes. your purpose. Let's yes. talk about your book. Okay, so for about five years, I knew I was supposed to be writing a book, and I didn't quite know yet what about. God just said, there's a book in your path. And I thought, okay, <laughs> great, more information. And, and so I trusted it, and I put time on my schedule just to write, but I didn't know what I was writing about yet until I made the commitment. So I made the commitment, and then once I made the commitment, God showed me what it was I was to write about, and you were a big part of helping me uncover that. And I'm writing to mothers, stay-at-home moms, because I was a stay-at-home mom for many years. I have five kids, and... Um, Sometimes some more come into our home. <laughs> and, the, and the bonus children. And the bonus children that we love so much. And, uh, and, but yet I felt this yearning inside of me that once I get to the point where my kids are more independent, then I felt there was a pull for me in something in my own life. You know, and, and I think that as mothers, we give so much that sometimes it's hard to admit, but we forget ourselves. Mm -hmm. We forget who we are. I've seen pictures of myself in the past, like I had twins. And after my twins, I don't think I like really wore anything that didn't go on and off in two seconds. Because I had three in diapers and I was nursing and <laughs> there was really no other option. <laughs> and so it gets really easy to, to lose yourself in your kids. And as women, we also want to make sure that we're giving. We want to make sure that we are that we are not being selfish. I think that's a big thing. Women feel, mothers especially, that we are selfish if we stop to do something for ourselves. And that's something I wanted to um, disarm because it's actually the opposite. We're actually the most generous when we become who we truly are because then we can serve not only to our kids, but we can serve in the capacity that is beyond our children as well. As totally. Well. Well, Fiona from Connecticut asked a question you started to answer, so we're going to jump in and finish it up. She said, um, had you tried writing a book before this process, and what were the major pitfalls that were solved here? So you had this book idea for a little while. Yeah. Uh, I love your idea of committing first. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big mm -hmm. piece of it. What do you think were some of the other pitfalls that were solved in this process? Um, I think they're the only the best way I could answer that is I, I because I made the commitment to write when I sat down and I didn't know yet what I was writing I put it in my schedule 9 a.m. sit down and write and even though I didn't know what it was I just started writing and I trusted that if God told me that I was to write that he would work through me and then what happened is over a process of doing that for a while sometimes there was the day before I got exactly what I was supposed to do I kind of felt a depression mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure if it was really going to happen because I was putting so much faith into this, but yet I couldn't see any outward signs yet. And so I started, honestly, I, I remember the moment I went to yoga and I was in the shower after yoga, in yoga pants. I hope that's okay. Yes. And <laughs> for yoga, they're wonderful. Okay, for yoga. <laughs> Tuesday morning's less good unless you're going to yoga class. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Yes. And so I, I was in the shower after my yoga class and I just felt this, this like, I knew God wasn't going to forget me because if he told me to write a book, if source told me to write a book, if my true self told me to write a book, write a book, that it would happen. But I felt this depression and I said, I will find it. I'm not stopping. I'm not going to let not something not showing up to stop me. And so then I just kept going. And then there was a moment where it just, the heavens opened. That's the way I can describe it. So I was that say, when we met. That was when we met. That was when we met. Um, and so God will send you the people to help you where you can't do things alone. I love that. I find that to be totally yes. true. If you have been looking for your purpose, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe you felt like your purpose was your kids and that doesn't make sense completely anymore, uh, this is probably the person you have been waiting for. This is the sign. If you're wondering, is this a sign or are you making it up? This is the sign. This is, this the, is sign. the one. Yes. So it's free. So it's obviously a sign. It's another way you know. Go get this book, Explore and Discover Your Purpose. Walk through these six steps. And anytime you get stuck, find Marlo, reach out to her because every single day that goes by without you living in your true purpose is not only a lost day for you, 
but it's stealing from your kids and it's stealing from the world. We want you aligned and at your highest power and making the maximum impact for you on this planet. So yeah. thank you. Congratulations so much, so much on your <laughs> All right.